15th August 1947 India gained independence from a 200 year long British rule at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps India will awake to life and freedom we were a fragile nation and were recovering slowly but in a country consumed by its own problems a handful of daring souls started looking towards the skies with unyielding ambition as a nation india not only chose to deal with the problems of the present but also foresaw the needs of the future and one such step was india's space program india's space journey started with the launch of its first rocket in 1963 it was a spectacular sight but the road ahead wasn't easy despite many challenges indian space research organization isro as we call it continued with the support of the nation and today isro is the sixth largest space agency all over the world with an exceptional success rate do you know why it created a record in 2017 by launching 104 satellites in one go 36 countries including US and UK have launched their satellites from Indian rockets. In 2008, ISRO successfully launched Chandrayaan-1 which later confirmed the presence of water on the surface of the moon. In 2014, ISRO's Mangalyaan mission made India the first nation to put an orbiter around Mars in its very first try. This budget-friendly achievement won India the 2015 Space Pioneer Award. 2019 India's second lunar mission Chandrayaan 2 was a partial success with its orbiter still sending valuable data July 2023 Chandrayaan 3 was launched and while this video is being made this orbiting the moon hoping to land on 23rd August <sighs> the list is long right but it's so impressive but hey i get it most of you have heard about a chandrayaan missions but no one really explained this to you in a way you our students can understand it So why don't you join us on our journey to understand the India's Chandrayaan mission? We'll explore questions like why are we so obsessed with studying the moon? How ISRO manages to keep the cost extremely low for its missions? How Chandrayaan 3 might be the key for future generations to live on the moon? And the best part, we'll understand everything using the basic maths and science concept. This Independence Day, let's pay tribute to one of the biggest pride of India. is true because independence day is not just about celebrating our freedom but also about celebrating what we did with our freedom jai hind